Boom. So hopefully you can hear us right now. I'm trying out these uh, lapel microphones. Let's see if you can see that right there. And she has one on her. So we can get some better audio outside. I'm just, I have bought some gadgets I wanna test out and make things a little bit easier. So today, we're gonna talk about something she was talking about. A TV show called, what was it called? Insecure. Insecure? Yeah. Insecure, so what is this thing about? You want the long version or the short version? Yeah, I'll pass the camera to you. <laughs> You'll be all right. Shut up, Larry. Okay, where are we going? I don't know, let's walk. Okay, well, the TV, sh I don't know how to hold this. You hold it. Oh I just want to talk. This is my cameraman, you guys. Yeah. This is my manager. I'll be the camera guy. Well, basically, I want to talk about, it was a TV show called Insecure. I'm gonna give you the short story, the short version. It's about a girl that have a boyfriend and then her and her boyfriend doing bad so she go cheat on her boyfriend with her ex that she um, looked up on Facebook. Long, uh, short, make a short, long story short, she cheated on her boyfriend with her ex. Her boyfriend found out and he left her. But what I wanted to say was, when you're in a relationship, I think that you and, your, you, you and your boyfriend should work it out or talk it out because if you love your boyfriend and if you cheat and you go cheat with your ex and you might think you feel good for like two seconds, but once you, you know, do that and you realize what you did, you're gonna feel bad and you're gonna lose a good man. A lot of women, a lot of females out here say they want a good man, but don't know how to treat a good man when they get it. I mean, sometimes it can be because they've been hurt by a lot of men, or they just don't know how to treat a good man. Oh yeah. Well then, <laughs> I think she's feeling some type of way, aren't you? I'm not feeling some type of way. You ain't feeling no type of way? No. It's like you have some real stuff to say. Well, that's true, cause I know a lot of women do say, oh. I want a good man, I want a good man, but when they get a good man, they don't know how to treat him. This and some true. men say they want a good woman, but when they get a woman, a good woman, they don't know how to treat a good woman. Would you say because they like being hurt in the past or I think it could be just nasty. I think some could just be nasty and some is because they've been hurt in the past. <laughs> like for me, I think because he always tell me I yell a lot. Yep, but, a whole lot, be yelling, yelling, blah, 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 blah. But I think I yell a lot because I have kids because they always doing stuff so I be yelling at them. And then in the past, I used to get uh, my ex-boyfriend's beats to argue and stuff like that. So I have to learn how to, you know, don't yell and you know, just learn to do better. Because this one, he a good man, I should say. He a good man, so I have to learn how to treat him. I mean, don't. I'm not saying I'm bad, but you know, if I want him, I gotta, you know, do right by him. That's right, learning. Sure. So hopefully you guys can <laughs> still hear us all right. It's kind of windy out here for once, down here in SoCal. Where you going? I don't know. Follow my leadership. Signs of a good man, signs of a good woman. Follow the leader. What? All right, leader. All right, Popo. -po. <laughs> <laughs> so, I was uh, listening to a radio cast, radio broadcast called The Breakfast Club. I don't know if y'all are familiar with that. And it had this kid on there, right? 19 years old. He had got a puppy. He brought it home, and his mom said he couldn't have the puppy. So while she was asleep, while she was sleeping in the room, this fool went and got a 33 Magnum revolver. Bam! Killed his mama in her sleep because he couldn't have a puppy. Yes. Guess what color he was? Black. Wrong. Oh, no? Because black folks don't do that kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot, yeah they do. Nah. But well, he was white. Yeah, his mom said he couldn't have a puppy, so so he had a uh, well, head and shot her. I I can't I don't get that. 
I just don't. Like, my mom said I can, no, I tried this before actually. I think I was like 12 years old maybe. And I found a straight dog. I was like, can I have it? She said, no. He so don't even I, like dogs. I love dogs. No he lie to don't. folks like that. Girl, please. I had got a dog. That dog was ugly. That was not an ugly dog. Money. How, it won't protect you. It was the size of my shoe. Well, what is females it gonna, like chihuahua. Well, not chihuahua. Not she all got females. Shih Shih tzus. What were well, those? I don't no. know, I like those kind of dogs. But Larry, he don't like dogs. I love dogs. Don't listen to nothing she be saying. <laughs> Lies is spewing out her mouth. I'm about to get rebuked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, I back to the story. I had tried. I had tried that once. I was like, oh, can I keep it? It was a nice little puppy. I wanted to keep it. She said no, so it had to go. I didn't get mad. Oh, I got a little bit mad. But I, I didn't get, it didn't give me a reason to go shoot my mom. Talking about this That's kid, the devil. like this kid, it's like you, you sh his mom gave him birth, took care of him for 19 years, and he decided to shoot her over a dog. Yeah, over over a dog for real. You know what I mean? It's like you old enough to understand what. Like, come on, you 19 years old. Now you going to jail for murder? You <laughs> gone for murder? You can go up in there and be somebody's puppy. Hey. <laughs> oh, I see you. You see, you see, you feel me where I'm going with that? Okay. I see you. You feel me? So, yeah, so that's going to be our vlog today, I guess. We're just taking a little walk down the street. We're and trying some hot. new things. Yeah, it is very hot out here. It's, My head burning. Uh, I don't think your hair is sweating now. Let me see. Nah, he got, he got, got your edges. He got glasses on. Oh, I, I would have my edges. I'm not like the rest. Always of got people. the fresh. Always got the fresh you glasses. Can, on. You can zoom up to my edges. I got my edges on. They ain't probably on fleek, but no, I got my weak. edges. They but something. he they got these right glasses. Here. Here. I gotta tie my shoe. This man, oh. he can't even see me. He got them glasses on, knowing he got a protector, and I'm out here in the sun getting my face burnt. <laughs> I wanted to say something. Um, oh, head looks so big in there. Like be quiet. Okay, so I wanted to say this. Um, earlier today when I was driving, um, on um, the radio, what's his name? The Hot 90, what's his name? Oh, Romeo. Romeo, he was asking, why do females take off their wedding rings? Oh, that's a bad thing to do. And do don't do it. <laughs> it had to happen to me. And a lot of females was calling in and they were saying, well, no, they said the question was, why do what makes females take off their wedding rings? Um, if they get into why. it. No, I forgot what the question was, but he asked. Why do females take off their wedding rings? Well, if they get married. And a lot of people was calling in saying <laughs> if they wash the dishes or if they take a shower. Yeah. You want to hold the camera? Well, go ahead. My arm this. hurt. <laughs> uh, if, they, if they have a, you know, take a shower or whatever. But my opinion is we got to get in the light. How move this? This. My opinion is for I'm not married or we're not married, but yeah. yeah, my opinion is if you're married, you have no excuse to take off your wedding ring. I don't care if you're washing, well, maybe if you're washing dishes because you don't want to go down, you know, in the drain or in the shower, but other than that, you have no reason to take off your wedding ring. I don't care if you're mad. Going outside, you know, going to uh, movies with your friends, because that just letting other guys know that, oh, she don't got no ring, she just available, she available. So, my opinion is, I don't think women should take off their red rings, even guys, because if we get married and let take off his ring, guess what? What? You ain't gonna have no finger. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not playing. <laughs> 
You mad, bro? Every day, bro. Well, you'll be all right, because we not having that. I wouldn't do that in here. I take marriage very seriously. Ah, oh, my arm hurt, dog. So I'm trying this with the, uh, I'm trying with the iPhone, actually. That's what we're recording with. I didn't bring the big camera out. That thing is massively heavy. I should've brought out the Sony, huh? Probably. But anyway, girl. I said probably. Yeah. I guess she's just full of advice and opinions today. Very opinionated for once. So is there anything else you want to shed some light on? No? Yes? No? No, I'll let you take over. Oh, we're going to end today's little... <laughs> did you just almost trip? I did almost trip right now. I almost lost my life just now. So don't forget, like and subscribe. If you haven't, smash the like button if you dare. And anything else, just before I cut this. I never knew. Well, you know, <laughs> let them know that they need to let us know what they want to see because, I mean, we I saw one challenge that they want us to do, but come on, y'all. I know people watching, so just comment, leave comments, tell us what y'all want to see, something. Talk to us. We're going to talk back. We don't bite. If you ask, so not Not all the time. <laughs> <laughs>